open iTunes, right click on a song that you would like to convert into a ringtone. Go to get info. Go to options. In the options tab, you can select the start and stop time of your ringtone from that song that you just selected. Once you set your start and stop time, you click OK. Okay, now you're going to right click on it again on the same song and you're going to convert to AAC. What that's doing is it's going to take that current song you just selected and shorten up the, the, the start and stop time. You just picked it, it's going to make a brand new song here in your iTunes. Go to that one that just shortened up, should be about 30 seconds is the best length. Right click on it, go to get info, go to summary. From this summary, it's going to give you a file path of where that shortened version of the song you just converted is, is located at. Pay attention to that. Locate your song through that file path. And it's going to be in your iTunes music folder uh, under in a folder with the artist's name or wherever you have it called. Real easy to find. It should be in your hard your C drive on your computer if you have it using uh, Windows. I'm going through the process right now. I'm locating my uh, the ringtone I just well the song I just shortened up. It's going to be in my documents and you're like I told you before in your iTunes folder, iTunes music folder. What you're doing is now you're going to have to bring in you're going to bring that new converted song into iTunes as a new song. You got to drag and drop it from that file path or your iTunes, your iPhone will not recognize it. I'm opening it up. I'm going to Make sure you don't close anything out too. Leave everything open. Just minimize them so you can open right back up. Now you see the file right there. Now I got to rename. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to rename it. It's right now called an M4A file. I'm going to rename it to an M4R file. M4R. And you'll see once I rename, I'm going to click yes. The file path picture changes and it says now it says ring. And now it's a ringtone. I'm going to open up my ringtone section inside iTunes. I'm going to minimize it some so I can have both folders open. I'm going to drag that song I just converted into iTunes. And now my iTunes and iPhone and iPod can read it as a ringtone. And once I sync my phone, now once you've done that step, you just sync your, sync your phone. Make sure you have those selected, the ones you want to sync into your phone. Select them. You sync your iPhone or, or, or iPod, and now you have a new ringtone in there. And once you get done, you go back into the original song and uncheck the start and stop time. It'll reset the song back to its original settings. Hope this helps. Real easy process. About 30 seconds, or well, probably i say about two minutes to get it done, and you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I will be posting more videos up here now. I've been taking a little break. You know, doing my coaching thing and, and, and just having some fun. So now I'm going to come back to make some videos. I'm about to get back in the office and do my downtime, make some videos. Subscribe and ask questions, whatever you got to do. Peace.